bridge. All the engines on the island of Sodor have different jobs. Percy pulls the mail. Salty shunts at Brendam docks. Henry pulls the flying kipper. Gordon thunders with the express. Toby and Mavis work at Farqua Quarry. Edward, James, and Emily haul freight as well as passenger trains. And Thomas puffs and puffs on his branch line. Whiff is the garbage engine. He likes to collect all the garbage on Sodor. One morning, Whiff puffed into Brindam Docks. He was delivering empty garbage cars. Spencer was there. He had brought the mayor to the docks to meet a friend from the morning boat. Thank you, Spencer. You've huffed and puffed very hard. You're strong, fast, and loud. You are a very grand engine indeed. This made Spencer happy. Yes, I know. Whiff wished with wonder at Spencer's grandness. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Whiff, there are cars of garbage blocking the tracks. You are to collect them all. The tracks must be clear before the mayor returns this evening. Grand engines don't collect garbage cars, Whiff. To be a grand engine, you must be strong, fast, and loud. And you'll never be any of those. And Spencer seemed smugly away. Spencer's words bubbled in Whiff's boiler. I'm just Whiffy Whiff. But I wish I was grand. Puffed up to a junction. He saw a garbage car waiting to be collected on the left track. On the right track, he saw Emily pulling heavy coal cars. An idea popped in his pistons. Strong engines are grand engines. If I could pull one of Emily's heavy cars, I could be a grand engine. So Whiff didn't take the left track to the garbage car. Puffed up to Emily instead. Hello, Emily. Can I help you with those coal cars? They are very heavy, Whiff. And I have to take them all the way to the coal hopper. Don't worry. I'm a strong engine. Emily was surprised. Thank you, Whiff. So Whiff was coupled up to some of Emily's coal cars. Whiff chuffed happily away. Goodbye, Emily. Now I'm a strong engine. So I'm almost a grand engine. Whiff chuffed happily to a junction. On the right track, Whiff saw a garbage car waiting to be collected. On the left track... He saw Edward pulling flatbeds of fence posts. Edward was looking worried. So Whiff didn't take the right track to the garbage car. He chuffed up to help Edward instead. Hello, Edward. What's wrong? I'm late. I still have to deliver these fence posts to Farmer McCall. I'll help. I'm very fast, and my pistons are pumping to go. Edward was surprised. Thank you, Whiff. So, Whiff was coupled up to some of Edward's flatbeds. And puffed quickly away. Goodbye, Edward. Now I'm a fast engine and a strong engine.
Smith huffed and puffed. He whistled his loudest whistle. Then there was trouble. Percy had stopped in the middle of the track. And with a crash and a bash, Liv smashed into him. Luckily, no one was hurt. Bust my buffers. Percy, why did you stop there? Because your garbage cars are blocking the track with... Oh, no. I haven't collected any of the garbage cars. Sir Topham Hat will be cross. Whiff felt terrible. And he didn't feel grand. I'm sorry, Percy. Percy wished. Now I'm worried that I'll be late to pick up my mail cars. Whiff gasped. Percy was never late with his mail cars. Whiff thought Percy was a grand engine. He always did his job well. Whiff's boiler bubbled. Whiff knew what he had to do. Of course! If I do my job well, then I can be a grand engine after all. Just like Percy. Whiff was coupled up to the garbage cars and shoved happily away. Thank you, Whip! With clickety clack along the tracks. First, I must deliver the cool cars and the fence posts. Then, I will rattle and race to pick up the rest of the garbage cars. Whip was happy with his decision and whistled a cheery hello as he chuffed through Napford Station. So, first, Whiff delivered the fence post to Farmer McCole. Thank you, Whiff. Farmer McCole was happy. He could now repair his fence and keep his sheep and cows from straying onto the tracks. Then, Whiff delivered the coal cars. Now there'd be enough coal for all the engines who needed to stop at the hopper. Now Whiff had to collect all the garbage cars. He was fast. He was strong. And he was very loud. At Wellsworth, Whiff saw Spencer. Spencer sniffed snootily. Phew! I see you're still whiffy whiff, the smelly garbage engine. You'll never be a grand engine like me. Whiff smiled. Sorry, Spencer, I have to hurry. These cars are heavy, and I have to take them to the garbage dump. Just then, Gordon pulled in with the express. The mayor and Sir Topham Hat were on board. Well done, Whiff. The tracks were clear. You have been a really 